G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Peaks Fishing. Great to have you here today. I'm a little bit late today. Um, beautiful day, really low winds. Looking forward to getting out there. The wind is coming up this afternoon. Um, yeah, but I did. Uh, I couldn't get away early today, unfortunately. But let's get the old ski going and uh, I'll see you out there. Alright, here comes the ferry, so I want to get this thing launched before the ferry comes. Okay, it's incoming tide, so I'm not going to chuck the anchor out, it's not going to go too far. I'll leave this up there in case it does. <laughs> Alright, I just uh, out near the old cables off Waiheke and uh, this is the new lure I got from Yeeha Fishing. And you can see it's um, sort of like a rubbery sort of soft bait material uh, very strong they tell me and I'm gonna give it a go here there's a bit of sign right under me Yep, and we're in. Now they did say when I bought these that they're quite lethal and <laughs> I'd have to agree that's a first drop. First drop for the day. They're like a I'm not sure what they're called, they're a, they're a Japanese lure, they're about 28 bucks, but when you drop them first time, you get a fish that's starting to pull a bit of line, it's got to be good. This won't be a monster, but it's going to be an eater in at least, anyway. Oh, it's a lovely fish. Pretty happy with that. Not bad. That's got to be around 40, 42 or something. First drop. So I'm just off, uh, that's my tia tia just there. Waiheke Island. First drop on the, oh, I wish I knew the name, name of the lure. But this is it here. It's a, basically a kabura with like a soft bait material on the end of it and yeah tiny little sharp hooks does the business well it's done another drop it's the wind's getting up a little bit now but still uh with the tides so it's nice and calm but on the uh japanese kabura from yeeha and another hook up Yeah, he's a bit small this bloke, we'll let him go, but uh, it's certainly this lure is catching the fish, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, so I just dropped the old um, Japanese jig again, and this feels like quite a good fish. They're pretty amazing these jigs, they just, as soon as it hits the bottom, they seem to jump right on them. Now 
Now if you're in Japan, they actually wind, they wind straight up, but uh, it's easy when you're standing on a boat, they just actually just do this. They don't use the rods to <laughs> work them up, they just wind up like that. Nice and easy. Let the rod uh, reel do all the work, here it comes. And it's quite easy that, surprisingly. Oh, that's a nice fish. He's actually not as big as I thought because he's hooked on the side. But he's a keeper. That's uh, that lure doing the doing the business again. So this guy, as soon as it hit the seabed, he just jumped on it. But uh, I don't know what happened. He must have missed it or went side on or something. Uh, because he got sort of foul hooked there, but anyway, he'll be coming home with us. Well, the old wind's starting to get up now, so just a quick trip today. Um, it's 24 knots over at Manukau, so that's heading our way. It's about 14 to 15 now at Bean Rock, which is straight down there. So um, I could sort of hang out a bit longer, but I've got a lot of work to do, so I'm just going to have a short day today. Got a couple of fish in the bins, so I'm happy with that. I did. Uh, was able to test out my new setup here and it works absolutely brilliantly I can reach everything easily, I can get to my lures easily, I can get to my soft baits easily I've got all my other soft baits stored here uh, all the packets in there, got my new pliers on a lead so they can go anywhere in the boat, or the ski at least knife, knife sharpener, hats and things are in there, food in there um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it. So I've gone to a 40 litre esky. I just found the other one a little bit heavy for me. Uh, getting quite a bit of uh, back injuries lifting it. was just a bit heavy. So this is just a 40 litre icy tech. Uh, those fish I've caught, I think one was 38, one was 42. So they, you know, they fit it in easily. And measuring up, you, you know, I think the maximum snap you get in there would be about a 72 centimetre fish. So comfortably I'm talking about. Um, I've got a bag, a fish bag for kingfish, which um, I've got stored under the seat here. So I've got my kingy rod with me today. Didn't use it today at all. I uh, just didn't have it last time when we got completely smoked by the kingies. Yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna call it quits. I've got a couple of fish to eat. I'm happy with that. Get some work done this afternoon and uh, then wait for the next 